everyone, Brian Wilson here with CBizSoft. I wanted to show you today um, all the many ways to import resumes into Excelair. So there's a few different ways um, to do it. First, you can import a single file from your computer, you know, stored somewhere um, on your computer's hard drive and in pretty much any folder. You can use uh, the text, uh, the text from your clipboard. So you can copy a resume from anywhere on the web and uh, pull that in using our Grab It feature. Uh, you can import resumes from emails um, inside of Outlook. You can import um, entire folders full of resumes through Outlook. And you can also use our email Dropbox function to um, email yourself a, a resume that will automatically parse into the system. So I'm going to start with a, a single file from a computer and show you how that works. I'm just going to come over here to Excelair. I'm in the candidate section right now. I'm just going to hit this button right here. It's called Import Resume. And I'm going to browse out um, to my computer to find where I have that, uh, that resume uh, saved. So I've got some handy examples I saved here. This uh, Dennis Adam guy, I'm just going to select him. And then I've selected that file, I'm going to hit Next. It's, you see it's actually parsed the information from his resume and put it into the proper fields here. So his contact information, you know, his name, his current company, his current job title. I'm going to hit Next. The system is going to ask, um, see if there's a duplicate in the system already. So right now, um, there is no duplicate. We're importing all this information. If there was a duplicate, it would list that information here and give us the option to merge instead of creating a brand new candidate. But this is a brand new candidate, so I'm just going to hit Next again and then Finish. That's going to parse in uh, Dennis Adams into the system. If I refresh the view here, we'll see that Dennis Adams was just added. And now here's all of his contact information, company he works for, all that kind of stuff. Contact is his location. And again, his physical resume file is now attached. And we also have a copy of that resume text here um, in the resume text window so that you can pop out the resume pane and, uh, and view that resume anytime you need to. Right? OK. So the next way is using Grab It, text from a clipboard. So I'm going to show you an example um, using Indeed. Now this works with really any um, any place where you can find resume text. I just always use Indeed because it's easy. So let's just do a search for a quick resume. We'll say this uh, Brittany Campos person we want to get into our uh, into our system. So I'm just going to copy the text from her resume here. Just right click and copy. Okay, and come back to Excelair and hit, hit this button right here. It's called Grab It. This is going to take the text from that clipboard and parse it in um, as it sees fit. So she currently works for the city of Caldwell as a graphic designer. And next, and again, if there's a duplicate or anything like that, and we're not seeing any contact information because there was no contact information on her resume, but you get the idea. And again, next, and then finish. So if I refresh the view, there's Brittany Campos. We brought her in and her resume text and all that as well. Right. So that's the second way to get candidates in. The other way is importing from an Outlook email. So I'm going to show you how that works here as well. So I just need to come over to um, Outlook, and I'm going to come over into a resume that I have saved. But basically, you know, when candidates send you emails like this, hi Brian, this is my resume, the resume is attached in a Word or PDF, it, it doesn't matter, it could be a text document or HTML as well. But you're going to use the XBAR plugin we have for Outlook, if you're using Outlook, of course. And so all you have to do is, is highlight that resume and say Add to Candidates. So what it's doing is taking the attachment as part of that resume. It's parsed out all the contact information here, just like you saw before. His current company, his current job title, all that stuff. You're going to hit Next. And again, if there's a duplicate, it's going to let you know. There's not this time. I'm just going to hit Next again and then Finish. So then if we come back over to uh, Excelair and again hit Refresh, we're going to see Daniel Anderson has been added as well. There's all of his contact information and the resume text and the physical resume attached as well. So that's getting people in through Outlook. Now something I should tell you as well, anything you can do one time, you can usually do multiple times at once as, as well. So if you got two resumes added to the system, you know, in, in your inbox or maybe ten, highlight all of them at the same time. Do the same thing, say add two candidates. And then it's just going to ask you to set a rule. You can give those a category, and it's going to ask you how to handle duplicates. If we find a duplicate, should we simply update it? Should we ignore it or create a new one? I'm going to choose update and say yes. And so the system is going to, one by one, go through each of those emails. And you'll see it updated the first resume and then updated the second resume as well. 
So it's very, very fast. If you get a lot of resumes um, in your inbox in the mornings, um, you can really get through those uh, extremely fast using this technique. All right, so moving on, uh, importing file folders from Outlook. This is a very cool feature I'm going to show you here. So if you've got a, f a, a file folder of resumes somewhere like, uh, like this, you know, you've got uh, four or five resumes or 20 or 20,000 resumes, um, you can do something uh, with Outlook that's pretty cool. You're just going to come here and say import resume folder. All right. And then you're going to find where that, uh, that resume file is located. So an ex this is my example folder. I'm going to say OK. And again, if we want to categorize the five resumes we're about to process, we can. And again, what to do with duplicates. I'm going to say if we find a duplicate, simply update it. And then hit yes. And so the software is going to one by one add those resumes. And as you can see, it's very fast. In the time it's taken me to talk here, we've just parsed in five resumes from a file folder. So you can see how, uh, how handy that is. And now if I come back to XLR and hit refresh, there's five more candidates that have just been added um, into the database. Pretty fun. Um, so the, uh, the, the fifth and final way I'm going to show you here today um, is called the Resume Dropbox. And so I'm going to use Gmail to demonstrate this. You could really use any, um, any program that you want, uh, any email program. But you have a, your own private Resume Dropbox that you can find in your Settings menu here. Just come up into Settings, Email, Dropboxes. And you're just going to take this uh, resume parsing Dropbox right here and copy it, right? And you can save that as a contact in your email program, so you don't have to do this each time. But if you get a resume like this via email, you can simply forward. And I'm going to uh, paste in that, uh, that email address, that resume Dropbox, all right? And then I'm going to hit send. So what I did, if you didn't notice, I forwarded that resume that Jethro had sent me to my resume Dropbox. All right, so what's happening is that the, uh, the, re the, the, the servers on our side are taking that email, and they're going to be parsing out, that, uh, parsing out that, that, that attachment. And it takes a, a few minutes for it to happen, but if I hit refresh, we should see um, Daniel Anderson come in uh, momentarily here. Or Jethro Alfred, excuse me. That was the candidate we sent. And there he is, all parsed in, just like if you had done it manually. So there's a lot of other ways to get candidates into our system, including um, pulling them in through our LinkedIn uh, integration uh, through the Chrome browser. We have videos for that. Um, we also have, uh, Im you can import uh, candidates using uh, the source candidates function by sourcing directly on LinkedIn, Career Builder, and Monster. Um, but those are the most basic ways that I wanted to show you here today. I would love to hear any questions or comments um, on the, the YouTube video here, so feel free to, um, to send them our way via YouTube or to uh, email us, support at cbizsoft.com. Hope you're really enjoying XLR. Thanks.